Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I want to do a fun little corner envelope flip with you guys. And what I'm gonna be using is an envelope. And I think this is just a tea dyed envelope, but any envelope will do. And I'm gonna stencil. I'm going to, you can use glue if you want or sewing and I'll show you guys both options. And I want some texture paste that I'm gonna use with my stencils. And uh, you can, well, this is actually spackling, but you can use texture paste too. But I find that this is a lot cheaper and you just get it at your hardware store. It works great. It works just the same. You can see right here, that's what I used here. So I'm gonna do kind of the same concept. I'll show you guys how to do that. And I just use speckling. And then I'm gonna have a fan brush for splattering with some water. And I think that's it. And maybe we'll throw in a little tag or something. We can put some fun or just some fun ephemera inside of it. So let's get started. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So what I'm gonna do is take my envelope, pick whichever corner you want and you take it and I have nothing done on this side, but I'm gonna just put it where I want to and I just wanna do like maybe an inch or so. I'll show you guys. Mm, bring it in as much as you want, like an inch or so like that. And then just fold it over. And it's just got a really cool look to it. Okay. <clears throat> now, I want to decorate it before I get it all put on to it because it makes it a lot easier. But what you could do is you can either glue, you could do a bunch of glue and just glue it down. Or you could take your journal over to the sewing machine and do a fun just sew. You could just sew it along. You can just do... Like you can even do a little dab of glue down here and then just take it and just do it so all the way. And then it can be sewn on like that because you want it to be able to hinge and flip open like this. So that's the whole concept of it. Okay, but for now, let's go ahead and decorate it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let's start on this side. Oh yeah, and also I have my water and coffee mixture. Ooh, yeah, so I got that. And then I'm also for spray, for paint splatters at the end, I'm gonna use some white, some black, and some gold. So that will be the splattering. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this and just do some fun And then keep in mind that this part's gonna be on the other side too. And I'll probably wind up covering the side when I decorate the other page. I'll wind up covering that. But if you want that to show on the other page, just decorate it. Okay, let's see. So I'm just taking it like this. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting out all your little envelopes that you got and seeing what you can do here. Okay, so I just put it on. And I just have a piece of parchment paper underneath me because I know it's gonna get messy and that you can tell that's my parchment paper I use for my projects here. All right, so I think that looks kind of cool. And then just make sure you scrape off as much as you can off of your stencil before you rinse it and then make sure to rinse it right away because spackling dries pretty quickly and it will ruin your uh, stencils if you just don't rinse it right away. But once you rinse it, it's fine. Okay, look at that. I think that turned out pretty cool. How cool would that be if the legs stayed like that? Maybe, because it's not on the envelope. Maybe I'll take my heat gun and I'm gonna go ahead and 
dry this, but let's see. Do I want anything else on it? I don't think so. I think I like it just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get it all dry before we go to the next step. All right, so I got that pretty much dry. And while it dries a little bit more, I'm going to flip it. And I think this would be fun to take the B here and go right... Now, here's my fold line. Okay. So I know where that is. So I don't want to put really too much on it because it's not going to show. And I think it'd be cool to put the B across the whole thing and then have a pocket. All right, let's try that. All right. I think that turned out pretty cool. And then once it dries, it should split open and I have a pocket right there. But we'll see, let's see how this works out. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it dried and we'll go from there. So I got that semi-dry here. And while that works on that, I look at that, it's starting to split open too, look at. So we got a pocket. And I think it's kind of fun just to leave it and not put anything in it and have it like that. I think that's kind of fun. But you know, if you want, you can put some ephemera and stuff in it, but isn't that cool? All right, so I did that and then I wanna throw some crackle in it. A little bit of crackle on it, not really in it. So let's do a little crackle. Just kinda here and there. A little texture. All right, so I got that dry, and you can see it looks pretty cool. Um, just wait till I put the coffee mixture on it. It's going to make it pop and look so neat. Okay, so we got that. And then now I want to do the same to the front here and just put a little bit of, just a little crackle around. All right, so I have it all dry. You can see, you see all the fun little crackles in it. And then I did a little bit of uh, spackling and put that down and then did some crackle on top and kind of just mixed it all together. And you can see that's kind of gives it a cool just texture right there. And then that's the other side. I think it turned out pretty neat. And it still opens up. Okay. So now, that's our little fold. Now what I want to do is take some of my, just some instant coffee and water mixture. Okay. I got my little water over here. I'm just gonna touch it all around here. Just wherever you want it. And you can see how it just brings it to life. It gets in all the nooks and crannies and is that cool? Okay, so you could do it this way or you could do it with your, um, your inks, all your uh, alcohol inks and stuff like that would work great too. Um, 
but this I definitely is a cheaper way to go. Um, if you, you know, I like it. I like the brown and I think it brings it all out and it's really cool looking. Okay, and you could do that or you could do, you know, you get the Distressed Oxide. These are fun to play with too, like the refills for your ink pads. I got this one and then like a black soot. So those are fun to play with too. Um, but this kind of gives it the same color as the Vintage Photo and it is a little bit cheaper. I mean, you get a lot of, you know, instant coffee and then just mix it with some, you know, just some warm water just to get it diluted and stuff. But isn't that fun? Okay, let's go across here and see. That's so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry it real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so you can see that that turned out really neat. And it smells really good, especially if you like the smell of coffee and you heat it up with your heat gun, <laughs> it smells really good. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I think that's turning out really cool. And then let's mess with this side. You can see it seep through a little, so just be careful. I mean, if you don't want it on the other side, but I'm gonna use it on the other side too. And um, yeah. I'll just try not to saturate it as much here. That's kind of neat, you can even drip it. You know, you could just do it where you just do drips. That's always fun to do. it drip around. Copy splatters on it. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this really quick. All right, so that turned out really fun. I mean, look at that. That is so cool. And there's a side. Okay. So now. I'm going to take a little bit of black. I need a bunch. Put a little bit of white. And a little bit of gold. Okay. I'm going to start with the white here and I'm just going to water it down. Now you can take it and splatter with it. You can do fun little splatters with it. Or you could do kind of the same concept I was doing with the coffee mixture. Let's just get it really runny. And then you can drip it. Have it so it just kind of runs down like that. It goes in the little crevices, which is really cool. So I'm just touching it right there. That gives it a little bit of something happening. Okay. We do that. We do little splatters. I'm 
since I'm on the white, I might as well flip it real quick. Just have fun with it. Okay. And let's do a little bit of, let's go to gold. always need enough gold. I can't have enough gold. Is that what it is? <laughs> okay, let's see. So I'll just get water down. Just play around with the consistency that you want. And then we can see here if we can get it to do something. But I kind of like the gold throughout. It's not really going to run for us that good. Oh, maybe. Just mess around with it. See what you can get done. Make it look like however you want it to look like. Some splatters. Okay. Now let's mess with the black. Splats here. Maybe have some runs. See how much you want to do it. And if you don't want it to turn like a gray, like it is, because uh, the white's not dry or nothing, you can dry in between. But I kind of like how it's mixing right there. That's really cool. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry this really quick. So that turned out really fun. I mean, look at that. I would love to hear in the comments what you guys think. And if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. It really does help me out a lot and I do appreciate it. Uh, let's see. So his, the little leg is still there on the bee. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it off. It probably will eventually. <laughs> okay. So we did that side and you can see the black really brought it together. So let's go ahead and do a little black on the front here. Let's see what we can do. And I dried the front a little bit so the whites won't really mix together with it, hopefully. Make it a little darker. There we go. I like that. Okay. Whoops, I'm gonna bump you guys. I got too into it there. <laughs> I'm bump you. All right, let's see. There we go. Just kind of, I'm just getting it to the consistency I want here. Okay, 
Okay, now that I dried the white, I kind of want some more white in it. Do a little bit of splats here. A little bit of splats. See it running down the trails it's kind of cool that's pretty fun so I could just do this all day all right I'm covering up my other colors okay so I don't want to go too overboard here but I am loving it all right so let me dry this and then we will get this into our journal all right so Let's see. So I will always give you guys a sewing option. Um, if you would like, this is just the other page on the back here. You could just place it here. And like I was saying, you could just take it and make sure you could still fold it and just sew right along here. And to help you place it, you could just take a little bit of glue and just put some glue at the bottom part here. I don't recommend doing it where you're going to sew because it'll gum up your needle. It'll make your needle all, you know, sticky and stuff. So just put the glue here just to get that where you want it. And then just do some sewing right there just, just to have some stitches on it. But I think today I am just going to glue it down. And if you wanted to, before we even started, you could have went around and just did a sew just like a zigzag stitch or any kind of stitch just all the way around it just to give it a little bit of something. But I'm liking it the way it is. So I think I'm just gonna keep it just like this. So I think it looks great. And I don't wanna knock my little leg off. It's still on there. <laughs> so I think this turned out really cool. I mean, look at all the different textures and just goodness in there. So yeah, so this is our little bumblebee page here. So I'm just going to take my art glitter glue. Okay. And some of the supplies I used are down in the uh, links down below if you want to come check them out. Uh, my paints and stuff I've just got at the store, just the Walmart or somewhere around like that. But um, like the crackle paste and the glue and, um, and different things like that. And the stencil. If you come check them out. If you're interested, okay, so I just got some glue. I'm just doing it right on the corner here. And I'm just gonna place it wherever I want it on my page. And I'm thinking like here would work. And it's just a fun little corner envelope flip is what I'm calling it. Not sure if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. Oh, am I out of frame here? I probably, nope. Let's make sure you guys can see. Okay, so you just take it and glue it. And then look at that. I mean, how fun is that? Is that super cool, you guys? So you get a little corner flip. And just take whatever you want. Let's see, what do I got here? Just some fun little things. Whatever you want in here. I kind of like the bee showing, but you can put whatever you want. And there you go. And you got yourself a little corner flip, a little uh, envelope corner flip. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share. And let's grow together. And keep on crafting. <laughs>